of interview is Stephen Whitcoff, chairman and CEO of Whitcoff. He's led the financing, repositioning, and construction of more than 100 properties in the U.S. and abroad. It's great to have you again. Welcome back. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks for, for having me. So, so do you think all this demand is, is pent up demand from the pandemic or do you see a real sustainable recovery lasting here? In, in New York City? Yes. I think some of, much of it has to do with uh, price correction. So there's been some probably I would say in, in the neighborhood of 20 to 25 percent um, um, discounted price correction in the marketplace. And I think that, in part with the opening of New York City, is, uh, is leading to um, a surge in sales. And then, of course, cheap uh, mortgage rates. So as a developer, is it, is it an exciting time to, to build and, and do new projects in a place like New York City or not? No, no, unfortunately. And I say it sadly because, I, you know, I was born in the Bronx and I spent my entire life in New York. But, um, no, I don't, I don't think... Um, the risk reward is is on the side of development today in New York City. What, what Stephen, would you say was the peak to, to trough price decline in in prime New York City, and and has it bottomed now? You know, Wilfred, I, I would say it's at least twenty five percent, and in and in some projects, at our project at one eleven, it was probably in the neighborhood of twenty percent. We really built great project, Fisher Brothers, uh, Howard Lauber, and us. It was it was solid product uh, product, but but you know the demand just wasn't there. Um, so I would say yeah, it's probably discounted in the best buildings as much as twenty five percent, and in other buildings where they didn't have a good selling strategy, I think it's been even more impaired. So so why the negative view on New York? Is it is it a tax budget? Crime, this, COVID. I mean, it, there have been all sorts of reasons listed lately. No, it's not COVID. No, COVID affected everybody and and was a was was a was a horrible event for everybody. No, it's 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 taxes. It's the way the government is run. It's the fact that there used to be a public and private compact for the betterment of the city. It's the fact that people of every socioeconomic strata are being driven out of the city. It's the fact that there's a 16 percent estate tax. And so you've got older people who are being pushed out uh, after working for a lifetime in the state. It's, it's subway crime. It, it's all those things. New York is, is a great city and can, in my opinion, uh, be recalibrated. But look, if you talk to many people on both sides of the aisle, some may not want to admit what I'm about to say, but there was no need for increased taxes in New York. I think the governor would tell you that in a quiet moment. There was a bailout from at the federal level, and they didn't need to push it any further, and yet they have. Add to that rental regulation. There's a perceived anti-business climate in New York today, whether it's the Amazon deal or the yeah. industry. People have this feeling that that business people are not welcome there. And whether that's a misperception or a misimpression, it still is a perception and an impression by, of me, by many. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.